Salutations, people of the internet, and to my dear old baby watchers. This is Logo Gotcha Phoenix back at it again with an another old baby Nightbringer Let's Play video. We finally made it to Lesson 24, and without a further ado, let's go. In Amplified Charm. So, as an experiment, you'll be attending mock lessons beginning today. Uh, for real? Wake me up when this is over. Dull. If we're having class, that means we're having lunch too, right? Thank you, I appreciate offering such a frank and honest opinion. Since this is the first time you'll be attending lessons at RAD, I have invited a very special instru instructor to come teach you. Jeez, I wonder who that could be. What who? He's already right here in front of you. Of course it has to be Barbados. Wait, you can't be serious. Oh, he is very serious. Allow me to introduce you to your special instructor, Lucifer! Oh wait, oh wow, say what? L-O-A-O-M-G, lo lo lo! This is insane. Clearly you've been a big hit with everyone, Lucifer. What in the world gives you that impression? You did hear what they just said, right? Allow- Alright, Lucifer. I'll turn them over to you. Young Master and I will be going now. Enjoy your first lesson. Grr, don't you enjoy your first lesson, me? Boy. Everyone be seated. It's time to start class. Hi. Yes, Mr. Lucifer. So, what sort of class are we starting with, hmm? First period will be curses and hexes. First period, so you're saying there's a second period too? Come on, I've already been through my middle school and high school years. Uh, Classroom learning isn't really my thing. Uh, Man! Sometime later. Those who lack the requirement skill must recite an incantation in order to cast a spell. Of course, for masters such as myself, it's a different story. <laughs> I just love how he just dropped that little brag right into the middle of the lesson, lol. When reciting an incantation, there are option points to consider as well. You must follow an accurate image of the magic circle in your mind. For those without confidence, it can be drawn on the floor or on a piece of paper. Hey, who did that? Who threw the eraser at me? Only one of your brothers can do that, Levi. <laughs> I'm not shocked. Nah. Macy, could you pass this note over to Beale to me and let him know that I want him to read it before he eats it? Needless to say, magic can be double -edged, a double-edged sword. If your opponent is a powerful mage, they may simply reflect your curse back onto you at an even greater intensity. Hey, hey Macy, here. It's a note from you, from Asma. You look adorable today, Macy, as always. And that means something coming from someone as ridiculously beautiful as me. I don't really say it to anyone other than you, you know. Oh, Asmo, you're so sweet. You're so cute. When I look at you, I can't tell what's going through my head, even though you don't actually say it. That's right. I can tell you absolutely adore me. Oh, yes, the heck I do. As an Asmo stan and a Mira I'm fan, I will stand you to my last breath. Boy. Hey! Are you listening to me, Macy? Shoot. Hmm. 
I applaud your honesty, however, I still cannot overlook your conduct. Listen, Lucifer. I'm talking to Macy right now. Whatever it is, it can wait. No, I'm afraid it can't, actually. Why don't we just end class here for today? I'm tired. Of course we can't. Huh? You're okay with that, aren't you, Lucifer? Right, yes, let's stop it from here for today. What? Woo! Asmo, that was amazing! Do you use your power to charm him? You totally did, didn't you? Yeah, to be able to do that to Lucifer, I've got to hand it to you. That's pretty impressive. You're incredible! Seriously, I don't believe it. Honestly, I'm sort of glad that you ended class early like that. I didn't know how much longer I was going to take it. I'm so angry I thought I was going to die. Thanks, Asmo. You're very welcome. I have to say, life as a student here is more fun than I expected. It's like a little windy, but hanging out in the courtyard with the you and having lunch together... It's like we're an adorable student couple having on a date at school, right? Oh, yeah. We are school sweethearts, babe. Whoa. Oh, do you think so, too? We really are made for each other, am I right? Oh, we've already... Oh, just yes. Just yes. So you saw what happened to me earlier, the way I wielded my power... I mean, even Lucifer has no but- Sorry. I mean, even Lucifer has no choice but to follow my orders. Isn't that just amazing? Yeah. The things of my boundless charm has finally grown so poignant that I can even put Lucifer under my spell. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Looks like Bela Nova came along just at the right moment. Bill, Bill, come here! Come over here for a second! Macy and Asmo, what's going on? Did you find some delicious food? Bill, do you think you could stand right here for a bit and block the wind for me and Macy? Yeah. You want me to use as a windbreak? Sorry, but Belvy and I are headed to the cafeteria. Aw, but don't you want my skin to dry out, do we? That's what will happen if the wind keeps blowing against it. How about it, Bill? Please? For you? Yeah, I'm happy to be your windbreak, Asmo. I'll be anything you want. Why, thank you, Bill! Bill, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Can't. I'm blocking the wind from AC and Asmo. You're blocking the wind? Aswell, don't tell me you! Lunch made me so thirsty. I love the sweet drink. Belvy, do you think you can go buy a, po a poison pomegranate drink for me? What? It's just that I'm so thirsty. Pretty please? Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. This is going to be your treat, okay? And do be quick about it. I'll be right back with your drink. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <sighs> Levi, could you give me a shoulder rub? I'm feeling just a bit worn out. <laughs> sure thing! Oh wow, I can't believe a lowly otaku can, like me, can guess throughout Asmo's shoulders. I'm so happy I can die! Oh Satan, do you think you can do my homework for me? You know, there's stuff we're supposed to do before our next lesson. Of course, leave it to me. I'm going to immediately point out that Asmo was actually abusing his abilities, which I feel like I do not approve of myself. Oh my, thank you! I feel so much better knowing that you're on the job! 
Asbo, is this the new nail polish you were talking about? I ran to the store and bought some like you asked. Mm, thanks, but I'm afraid this isn't the color I wanted. Could you go back and exchange it, Mamon? Sure, wait here. I'll be back before you know it. Ah, this is so much fun! Uh, I don't think this is right. Sorry, babe. What an odd thing to say, Macy. Everyone's more than happy to do things for me, aren't they? Actually, I'm serving me. They're, I'm actually saying serving me actually works to their benefit as well. Yeah. Oh, Lucifer! Perfect. I'm so glad that you're here. Listen, you could spin around these three times and bark like a dog. I'm bored and I could use some entertainment. You'll do that for me, won't you? Weird. L Lucifer? If you think you're gonna do the same trick on me again, you're sorely mistaken. Are you wondering why this isn't working? It's because I've already built up resistance from when you charged me the first time. Uh oh! You don't seriously think you can run away from me, do you? Yep, you earned this, Asmo. Out of control! Oh no. Asmo! I can only imagine of what Kazuya would actually sound like saying his name. First, you inter you interfered with the rad lesson. Then, your brothers asked you as an errand boys. You even had them go to try to manipulate me. Come on! I said I was sorry, didn't I? That doesn't sound like someone who is sorry to me. Getting angry at us and being angry at you shows up that you're not sorry at all. I may be a little low-key otaku, but still, there are some things that you shouldn't do, even to me. Seriously, I can't believe you've done that. Because of you, I got hungrier and hungrier. How are you going to make up to that to me? The rest of us needs to do some soul-searching as well. How about each and every one of you that can allow Asmo to use you like that? Pathetic. What? Now you're yelling at us, too? Well, it is the truth. Hey, you were under his control for a while, too, you know. Perhaps. But you ran errands after errand for him without building any sort of resistance to his power. So you're in no position to judge. Grr! You're all responsible for what happened, which is why you are all going to be taking care of Serpers today. What? What a giant pain. Get going. Now! This is the worst. Shut up, Asmo! Okay. I know Lucifer said we gotta take care of Cerberus, but why does he have gotta be in the underground tomb, huh? Well, Lord Diablo gave Cerberus to Lucifer, but he's too big to be kept outside. The neighbors will probably complain. And he has a lot more space down here than he would out there in the yard anyway. So this is probably what's best for Cerberus as well. Well, it's not what's best for me! Cause you're my servant! If you, you know what shows up, you better protect me! Seriously, you better! Uh, you know what? You mean Cerberus? Nah, it's Mammon, so he's probably talking about Ghost. Yeah! Quit it! Don't talk about that! They're saying talking about you know what is a surfire of way to make him appear for real! <laughs> this means Lucifer gave us... Uh, he said he it was food for Cerberus, but what sort of meat do you think this is, is actually? It smells weird. 
We might be better off not knowing. You think it's okay if I try some bill? No. Yeah, like what Levi said. So, who's going to be serving as bait? Huh? What? Bait? Huh? If we're going to clean Cerberus's den, we have to get him out of there first. So, Mammon, go for it. What? Hey, why me? Levi or Bill ought to be the ones to do it. Hmm. Eh, I'll choose Bill. Sorry, Ken, I'm hungry right now. Gosh darn it. What kind of excuse is that? Oh, there, Cerberus. Just ignores Bill's stomach. Actually, he must be really hungry. His stomach's always growling, but still, wow, that's a crazy noise, lol. That's not my stomach. Of course it's not. An earthquake? Not an earthquake. No. That has to be. Cerberus! Ah, crap. Here we go again. I think it's time to run! <sighs> that was a nightmare. What do we do now? We haven't even managed to clean his dead or feed him. Don't ask me. Uh, that's it. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to be clean. I don't want to get too dirty. And I don't want to feed him either. Since I've ended up being covered in his saliva. Well, it's your fault we're in the situation to begin with. Oh. Yeah, that's right. The rest of us just got dragged into your mess. <laughs> Don't blame me for that. If you want to complain, complain to Lucifer. Yeah, yeah. Right, sure. If you want to complain to Lucifer, we won't be down here in this tomb to begin with. You know what? All of you should really show me some more gratitude. Look how beautiful I am. How cute. And you're gonna get to be near me every single day to this sweet, adorable Asmo from up close. That's a privilege, you know. Don't you have any idea how lucky you are? Huh? Pfft, you gotta be joking. Since when are you are sweet or adorable? Excuse me? Mammon, are you trying to start a fight with me? Sure, bring it on! A fight with you sounds real good. Go on, since the rest of your life staring and at yourself in the mirror, you moron, see if I care. What? I don't you know what? You're so full of yourself, you might even be even known how to think of anyone else. Beautiful, huh? There's nothing beautiful about you. What? Wait, what did you just say? Not again. Did you just imply that that I'm not beautiful? Uh-oh, this isn't good. Me? I'm not beautiful? Here we go. What? Are you stupid? Is your eyesight just that bad? Do those eyes of yours even work? Or are they just for decoration? Come on! Run! Huh? Run! Man, don't get all scared just because he changed to his demon form! Yeah. He didn't just change it to his demon form. Huh? This is just like what happened to you, Mammon. Uh. The only thing we can do now is run! <laughs> Wait! Don't go! Oh, crush. I'm sure you would all be- Wait a second. Oh, shoot. I know that music anywhere. I'm sure you'll all be happy to do whatever I tell you, wouldn't you? I mean, as gorgeous as I am, how can you say no to me? 
can't move. Mars no way. He charmed us again. Satan, Mammon, Levi, Bofi, Beal. I got you now. Looks like you're next, aren't you, Macy? Well, I'm actually down. Macy, dear, why are you running away from me? Well, if I was in MC's shoes, I wouldn't run away. I'm sure you're as eager to please me as the others, right? You want to do whatever you can to make me happy because I'm worth it. Probably not because of this form you're in, and that's probably why I'm running. After all, I'm Asmodeus, the most beautiful creature in all of the world. Stop! Lucifer, so you decided to show up, didn't you? Did you rush over here hoping to play the dashing hero in Macy's hour of need? I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. It's not like me. What a strange thing to say, Macy. I think I'm being more than ever that I've ever been, personally. Asmo, snap out of it! WAKE UP! I think you're the one who could use some awakening, Lucifer. Come on, look into my eyes. What do you think? I have power on a completely different level now, wouldn't you say? Any resistance you may have built up is no match to the new me. Macy, listen carefully. I can't take this much longer. I'm going to lose control, and I won't be able to protect you. You need to get out of here and get to Solomon. Okay. I already know what I'm thinking. You've always been sharp. I'm counting on you, Macy. Find Solomon and tell him what happened. What are you two whispering about? Aw, oh, talking about how impossibly beautiful I am? Lucifer, dear, why don't you come here, hmm? In the name of the demon Lucifer, I command you, create a path where none has been taken. Lead Macy to the soul sor sorcerer Solomon. Teleportation magic? Go, Macy! And off I go. Master and servant. That should solve the problem. I bet Solomon is thinking, God, not again, and to Asmo nevertheless? I really feel like this recipe is missing some- oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I sense Lucifer's magic, but Macy's presence? Maybe it's just my imagination. Hmm. Next to Solomon, his lap. <laughs> uh, eh, I'll fall in his lap. Whoa! Well, well. Macy, wow, you startled me. This is the kind of surprise I like, though. Did you land on my lap by mere chance? Or was it on purpose? Don't get me wrong, I'm happy either way. Explaining. Wow, so all that happened while I wasn't around. It sounds so interesting. Sorry, I meant like it sounds like a real problem. I like had no idea about any of this. Based on what you've told me, it's clear that I can clearly ignore this and hope for the best. I think we better head over there right now and save them. Ah, but why don't we have to lead through the storks this time? It's awfully quiet in here, huh? A little too quiet. It's unsettling. So, what to do now? We gotta find Asmo. Wait, we don't want to be too hasty, Macy. At least, like, times like these, it's even more important to keep a cool head and think about things before acting. So I messaged Simeon to see if he and Luke are alright, and I just got a response. Apparently they're at the Demon Lord's castle right now, so 
So I told them that they should stay where they are and spend the night at the castle tonight. Okay, so time to get down to business. Let's go find Asmodeus. <laughs> <coughs> I cannot laugh. Yep, that definitely sounds like Asmodeus laughing. Aw, you're such good little kittens, aren't you? And so cute! Yikes, it sounds like he's really having his fun with them. I think that that sounds like it came from the common room. Let's go check what's going on. Here we go! And there he is. Beal and Belfie, are you finished cleaning the bathroom? Uh. Yep, we're done. You mean, yes, we're finished? Oh, great gorgeous is Mo, whose beauty puts even the shadows on the Devil Dome to shame, who is lovelier than any flower and more radiant than any star. Uh. Yes, we're finished. Oh, great. How'd it go again? Just as, as requested, we filled the bathtub with hot water and added rose petals and scented oils. Ah, you're so sweet! Well done, you two! Oh, great gorgeous Asmo, whose beauty who poofs even the shadows of the devil and the shaman who makes is lovelier than any flower and more radiant than a star. May I ask you how you're enjoying your massage? It feels nice, thank you. You might try to apply a teensy bit more pressure, though. As you wish, so great gorgeous. I'm not gonna read any of that. I finished polishing, I mean polishing all your shoes. You have? Let's see. You didn't polish on the heel, did you? No, not good enough. You'll have to do them all again. Uh, of course, I'll be glad to do them, I mean them again all for y you. Be quick about it, okay? After you're p done polishing, I want you to organize all my makeup. Levi, why don't you come a bit closer, hmm? I like to prop my legs under your lap. Uh, of course, as you wish. Oh. Your tea's ready. <laughs> why, thank you. You always make such a wonderful tea, Lucifer. Oh, could you stand over here and hold the saucer while I partake? As you wish. I don't believe this. It's even worse than I thought. It's like I'm watching a queen's royal servant. Wow, even Lucifer can't resist. It's not often you get to see something like that. Maybe we should get a video on this for purposes. I honestly wanted to say good idea, but this is a very serious situation, so we shouldn't waste any time. Really? Part of me wants to stay here and watch a little longer, but if you say so, me too, Solomon, me too. Alright, for starters, let's see what sort of state Aswell's in, Macy. Try calling out to him, we'll see how he reacts. Babe, can you hear me? Oh, of course I can hear you, Macy. After all, you are my very special kitten. Whenever you call my name, I'll always listen. Run! Macy, if you stay here, you end up under his control as well. Buffy, Satan, what do you think you're doing? So you're concerned about Macy. It's as if Macy is more important to you than me. I cannot allow that. You're supposed to love me and only me. The whole world should be in love with Asmodeus! So why should you be worrying about them, hmm? You've become a real thorn in my side, Macy. You're a nuisance. Asmodeus! Did you just call Macy a nuisance? You don't really mean that, do you? And what if, uh, if I do? <laughs> now you've crossed the line. You are bounded to me by a pact, remember? And I can't bear to see you behaving like this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Those are some big words for a mere human. Be honest. You wanted to be my servant too, don't you? You're dying to serve such a beautiful master. This has gone far enough. You're done playing Queen Asmodeus. It's time for me to remind you who you serve 
and who is in this relationship? Kick his ass, Solomon. Searching for little D. Okie dokie. <laughs> really, there's no need to be so difficult. Solomon, Macy, let's be honest. You just love to do my bidding, wouldn't you? Just like all the others. I'm the most beautiful creature and you can't be under my command. Really, could you do anything be more wonderful? Ah. Asmodeus, it's true that you're beautiful. However, I don't follow anyone's orders but my own. Such tough talk. How long are you going to keep up this bluff, hmm? I think it's going to hang on some long enough. Would you agree, Solomon? Yeah. No using your charm this time. It's not going to land on me. My, my. You reflected my power right back at me. Still, I feel like you're lacking your usual vocal, Solomon. How long do you think you'll be able to keep evading me, hmm? My magic is a bit weaker than it was, sir. Still, for some reason, I still can't see myself losing to you. Ah. Macy, stay behind me and keep close. Be careful, Solomon. You mean my own apprentice is worried about me? About my safety? How surprising, after all. Who do you think I am? There's no need to worry. Just stay there and let me keep you safe, okay? Alright, enough chit-chat. I want you to focus on me! Honestly, I can't believe I don't have any other of you transfixed. It makes no sense at all. Ah, wait. Are you just too shy because of how beautiful I am? Really, I know you're submitting with me. There's no need to hide it. Spirit of the Earth, cover his mouth and silence him! Nope, that's not gonna work. Seems like your magic lacks your usual oomph today. It's not going to have any effect on me now while I'm this strong. Seems like you're right, yeah. Well, I really didn't want to have to do this because I know I'm going gonna get yelled at for this later. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. What are you going to do about it? You can't scare me by saying something ominous like that. There's nothing that you could do that... In the name of the Sorcerer Solomon, I call upon you to send forth one of your numbers. No way. You can't. I summon the demon with the power of over the time itself. Barbados! There he is. Whoa! Whoa. Just like that, Asmo's unconscious. He just shut him down with a blink of an eye. <sighs> We're saved. Eh? As much as I detested answering your call, a pact is a pact. However, Solomon, I have in no way of forgiving you. Please bear that in mind. Right, thanks Barbados, you're a lifesaver. You know, I must say... Solomon, you have some nerve summoning me to your side on a whim, simply because it, ha it happens to suit you. I wouldn't say it was on a whim, exactly. You should know that Luke and I were making pastries together at the time, which is to say I was not to be on the clock, as it were, and yet you thought it would be fine to just drag me away because it suited your needs. I'm sure poor Luke was quite confused by my sudden disappearance. I said I was sorry. That was as unconvincing an apology as I've ever heard. Clearly, it meant nothing. I'm sorry? Yeah. Enough. I have no interest in hearing any more of your empty words. <laughs> I really do mean it, though. We survived thanks to you. Well, I'm glad I have my pact with Barbados. As far as I'm concerned, our pact is a disgrace, and it represents the greatest mistake of my life. <laughs> How harsh. Now then, might I ask what happened to Lucifer and his brothers? Uh. 
They were on a pretty war down after being under Asmodeus' control for so long, as their devil sitter Maisie ordered them to rest now. And as you can see, Asmodeus here is still unconscious. He shows zero signs of waking up. Shall I take the implication of fault on my part? I'm not saying that, no. Still, I'm not sure what to do. When Asmodeus finally does wake up, he'll probably be in the same state. It would seem to require a little de-service once again. We should set off to the castle right away. We can't continue this, this discussion there. Great! So the little D's are spirits, are spirit counterparts born at the same time as some demons, huh? That's pretty interesting. For simplicity's sakes, we shall call Asmodeus' little D counterpart number 5. However, the only time that I've seen number 5 was the day he first arrived at the Demon Lord's castle. Maybe he's really shy? I have a rough idea of where you're likely to find number 5. However, it's a location as a present certain challenges, I'm afraid. Where exactly are we talking? The secret flower garden within the castle. I see, that does present a challenge. Sort of challenge. Well, there are a few locations within the castle that are troublesome in one way or another, I suppose. However, the secret flower garden is a place that can confuse and deceive anyone who ventures inside, trapping them without an into with all eternity. What do you think, Macy? Are you prepared to go there to find the little D, even though knowing what awaits you? I want to save my babe! <laughs> yep, I thought you'd say that. Well, in that case, as much as I prefer to avoid the garden, I'm going to accompany you. Right, I'm going there too, naturally. I can't let my adorable apprentice face the danger like that alone. And we're in. I think... Science is killing me. It's a pretty place, do you know that? Yes, well, you don't call it a flower garden for nothing after all. Yeah, finally we should get some questions answered. Barbados, why are you angry at Solomon? You're really going to ask him that now? I'm sorry, but is there some problem with Mason Carling? I mean, no, but... Actually, I think this is the perfect opportunity to discuss it, make these, uh, Macy. I'd like you to hear this. Finally, we get some proper lore of why Barbados is angry at Solomon. Let's -a go. Why do I harbor such intense hatred towards this Sam of a sorcerer? Why does he disgust me so? Wow, so mean. It happened not long before you first arrived here. Come on, tell us. Damn it. Well, guys, this was another pretty intense lesson, now was it? I want to once again thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys next week for the next, yeah, for the next lesson. And to be sure you want to don't miss out on these videos, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell until we meet again. Bye!